Hi everyone! Well, we've got some weather. We're having 100 degrees and monsoons and rain and lightning and thunder. Hopefully, we'll get this video done. I'm really excited. Welcome to another edition of Sunday Chat. This is one that I never thought I would be doing, and that is the why, when, how, what of memorizing scripture. So let me tell you quickly my story. I always thought, oh, no, I have a bad memory, I don't have time, blah, 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 all these excuses. I love memorizing scripture, and my hope is if you watch this, and I'm going to include a really cool way of how to memorize it, that you will be motivated and excited as well. I am loving memorizing scripture. So let me back up and start with why we should memorize scripture. My sweet friend Kathy's Beauty Care Chats posts on her Instagram a scripture every couple of weeks that she's working on memorizing. And I was kind of like, yeah, yeah, okay, you know, hard it and move on, and that was that. We talked about it occasionally, and I just didn't think it was for me. I started looking at the scripture, and I realized that was probably the devil talking in I don't know how to memorize things, I'm too busy, all of these excuses. When you start memorizing scripture, it will change so much in your heart, in your mind, in your outlook, in your bounce, in your step, in your day. It's amazing. So I'm going to put, as always, the scriptures on my blog as well as on the screen. But the Lord commands us to memorize scripture, that it is alive, it's powerful, it's in your innermost thoughts and desires. And if you love me, you'll obey my commandments. Well, you have to know the scripture to know the commandments. And if you're like me, you read the scripture, but you don't hold it and carry it with you all day long unless you actually memorize it. And memorizing is another word for meditate. When you study on the word, then it will cement in your mind and you will have it as part of your day and your night. You will also take such a delight in it and it will come to mean something more and different and deeper than it does just from reading it. It will live in your heart and your mind. I love Matthew 4 and 4. People don't live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Ephesians talks about putting on the armor of God and that is the word of God is the analogy is to the sword of the Spirit, that you have to guard your heart. It protects your heart and your mind by knowing the Word. The Lord's name is so powerful and can protect you just like His Word can. It is the armor of protection. It also helps us against the devil. No matter what is taking prey in your mind, oh, I'm fat, oh, I'm ugly, oh, I'm not a good enough, whatever, mother, worker, wife, all of those negative thoughts are of the devil, and he preys on whatever weakness we have, and if it takes hold, he's going to prey on that. And the more that we immerse ourselves in the Word, the more we will have that armor and that protection against the devil. You will have more joy in your life. You will have God's word and his perfectness as part of your day. It will lift you up and give you so much happiness and enthusiasm and it will stop you from worrying. Anything that afflicts you, you can find a scripture for. Whether you're worrying about where your food's going to come from, the circumstances of the world, the way of your children, everything in the Bible has a word, a scripture to address it. And that is going to help you trust the Lord and to let go of all of your worries and all of your concerns. The other thing is it will help us teach non-Christians. We are supposed to support each other and teach each other but we are also supposed to teach non-Christians. The disciples were commanded to go out into the world and preach the good news to everyone. How can you preach the good news if you don't know the word, if you don't know the scripture? You can understand the concepts of it that brought you, hopefully, to Christ and me to Christ, 
but without the actual words, how can you talk to somebody and show them in the Bible God's word, not just you saying it, that it's God's word. It will also help you worship, it'll help you grow closer, it'll help you sing spiritual songs. It will add so much to your life. Did you know that there's over 7,000 promises in the Bible to man? 8,000 promises in all, but to worship him, but 7,000 promises that he's made to us. He keeps his promises. When you memorize those promises, you are carrying the reminder of what God has promised he will do for you in your life. I hope maybe some of these reasons of why you should memorize scripture have inspired you. Your next question is probably going to be when. I'm so busy. When am I going to have time? We all have a million moments in our day when our hands are busy and our minds are free. Doing dishes, preparing the meal, doing laundry, getting ready in the morning. Those are all the little tiny moments driving where your hands are busy but your mind is free. And there are some ways that I'm going to share with you of how you can memorize scripture during those myriad of moments throughout your day. When I first started, I was amazed, one, how many scriptures I already knew thanks to my upbringing, but then two, how quickly I could memorize scriptures. I could decide I was going to memorize a scripture in the morning and have it almost cemented by the end of that day. I never thought that was possible. So don't dismiss your ability to memorize. I hope I'm motivating you to give this a chance. When you say, well, what scriptures? I love 1 Timothy 3.16 that says all scripture is inspired by God. It's something useful to teach us what's true, make us realize what's wrong in our lives. It corrects us. It teaches us to do what's right. It uses us to prepare and equip his people to do his good work. So in other words, there is no wrong scripture. Open up your Bible. Whenever you're reading a devotional and it mentions a verse that speaks to you, these are all verses that you could memorize right this minute or put for future. So how do I memorize verses? Repetition is key. Making it fun is key. And there's different ways for different people. You have to find what's right for you. Some people like to write it on a post-it note and put it somewhere visible where they can be reminded of it and recite it. You know, whether that's when you're cooking or getting ready in the morning on your mirror. Some people have it where they've written it down in a book. And I started that way and it was very beneficial. Then I had it on OneNote on my phone so I could do it in the car while Mark was driving and I could look and I could repeat it. Um, it's also great if there's something that you can sing. This is the, Lord, the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Those are easy because you've got the song that goes with it. What I have recently found that I love is a free app. They don't have any ads. They don't push anything on you. It is wonderful. Now there's several free apps out there, but I'm going to show you this one and what I love about it. It is called Verse Locker. And what it does is it allows you to put in the verses you want to memorize. You can put them under a collection name. So I have one that's future and I move them into my current 2022 folder as I want to memorize more. There's different games that you can play in this verse locker. You can blur out certain words and depending on how many times you tap it, it will blur more and more words. You can have it where it gives you just the first letter of each verse, of each word in your verse, and you have to then say it and that will help you. You can have it read it to you, which I love when I'm getting ready or I'm not able to look down or driving. You can slow it down so it reads it slower and you can repeat it with it and learn. It's amazing how quickly it cements. Now my favorite way is with the words. It will give you a variety of words from your verse and you have to tap on them in the right order. And for some reason this really helps me to learn. The other thing I love about this verse locker is it shows you how many you have from the Old Testament, the New Testament, from the Gospels, from the Minor Prophets. It's 
a good way to help you diversify and to get something from every portion of the Bible. And what I also love is I find since I've started this, I have so many verses that really speak to me. I could be reading my Joyce Myers devotional and I'll find two or three and I'll put them into my future verses on my verse locker. I could be reading a Bible, a Christian book, and it will mention some verses. I'll put them in my verse locker and they're all there for whenever I want to memorize them. This also has a lot of things I haven't even explored yet, like a community. It shows you kind of like a leaderboard. People have memorized 4,000 plus verses. I'm not on that leaderboard, but what matters is start with one. And you will be amazed how many more verses you know, probably from your childhood, the Lord's Prayer, the Psalm of the Lord is my shepherd. Right there, you know, if you know the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That whole section of verse is a whole chapter. You will be amazed of how many verses of what you know that you can start putting in there and suddenly you'll be like, hmm, I've already memorized six verses. I didn't even know it. And then you will find so many more that start speaking to you and really energize you and motivate you. And all it takes, you can set reminders as well to make sure that you every day start practicing. The other thing I would strongly recommend is even if you've memorized something, go through it again, cement it. With everything going on in our world, you never know when you're going to need these, and I hope we always have our Bibles. But I've seen scriptures of people in all parts of the world, all different time periods, where they only had a verse that had been ripped out of the Bible, and they got a verse and each person in the room got a verse and they remembered it and then they ate it and they all shared their Bible verses. Kathy and I know a lot of verses and different verses and we said we want to be in our camp together so that we could share with each other and with other people and it sounds like something we're joking about but you never know when those times could be real. They're already starting to censor Christians. Whether that happens to us or not you carry it in your heart, you carry it with you throughout your day. When you're at the dentist, when you're getting an MRI, when you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't sleep, when you suddenly are overcome with worry, any number of moments in your day, you will have those scriptures in your heart, in your mind, that you can call forth and have them at your fingertips. I did not realize how much of a difference this would make in my life. And I'm so grateful that I have started memorizing them. And if I can encourage you to use Verse Locker, it makes it fun. I'm a competitive person, so the number of verses that I've done, I love it. It also makes it easy to say, I just want to look at my memorized verses, or I want to do it in the most recent verses or the oldest verses. You can change the order in the sort. You can say, hide my memorized verses, so you can just work on a new verse. There's so much to this that I'm sure I haven't even discovered. Now, if you already memorize, let me know below that you're already doing this. If I've maybe motivated you, I hope so. Tell me you're going to at least check something out and consider start memorizing. And whether you use Verse Locker or something else, I would love to hear down below if you have another app. Verse Locker just happens to be the one that I've enjoyed. Not saying there's not other apps, and please share or what your method is for memorizing scripture. Whatever you do, just start. One verse today. Find a verse that calls your name and memorize it. And I'd love to hear an update of how you're doing because I think this is something we can continue to do and encourage each other. And it's just such an amazing way to carry the Lord's word with us constantly, no matter where we are in our hearts and in our mind. So that was what was on my mind today. I hope I've motivated you. Like I said, let me know below and thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I always appreciate it and I hope you're having an amazing day. Love to you all.